Hi guys, Deanne here from Canada Abroad and thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're bringing you an important announcement uh, from Sean Fraser, who was speaking earlier today at Happy Goat Coffee in Ottawa. And he was announcing some important changes that would really assist international students studying in Canada. So for a while we had all been speculating there was going to be a new TR to PR pathway. Um, unfortunately, when he did an announcement, you know, earlier this month, those changes were a little bit different than expected. Today, he did not create a new TR to PR pathway, but he just announced two important changes that would assist international students. The first one affects the right to work full time. So currently, most international students on their study permit can st sorry can work 20 hours per week on that study permit and then full time during school holidays and breaks effective november 15th 2022 lasting until the end of 2023 international students will now be able to work full time on that study permit so while they are going to school, they will be able to work as many hours as they wish. They will no longer be restricted to the 20 hour limit during school. So he said that he does hope international students will continue to prioritize their studies. Because remember, if you stop attending school and classes, then you're no longer complying with the requirements of your study permit and technically you lose your study permit. So remember, you have to be on a valid study permit to have this right to work full time. So you could work, you know, 20 hours, 25, 30, it's up to you, but you always still have to comply with your study permit. Now, this um, he was hoping is going to allow international students to earn more money to help them, you know, survive, pay for costs and hopefully just assist them. So it's not anything to lead to permanent residency because remember, right now the way the Canadian experience class works is any work experience that you obtain while on a study permit does not count for Canadian work experience under the Canadian experience class. You're still going to need that vital work experience on your postgraduate work permit. So that change um, has not been implemented. So while you can work full time, that full time work experience still, you need to remember, does not contribute towards the Canadian experience class. Now, the second update that he announced is the automation of study permit extensions. So he did note that a lot of study permit extensions this year were delayed. They took quite a while to get processed. So they're implementing a new program that would lead to automation of these extensions. So using, you know, artificial intelligence, uh, machine learning to approve these extensions. He did make it clear that the program and how it's going to work is it would allow for automatic approval of extensions, but it would not create any automatic refusals. So he wanted to clarify this so that nobody thinks that their application might get refused automatically by artificial intelligence or any algorithms. He was clear that any refusals of study permit extensions would come directly from an officer. So there would not be any automation of refusals, just of approvals. So those are the two big announcements that he had while speaking today. And hopefully this is going to benefit some of those international students currently in Canada with just, you know, earning valuable work experience, which is going to assist them in getting these high skilled jobs when they graduate. And that's really the work experience that you need to get to permanent residency is you're going to need that currently uh, skill level O, A or B, but soon to be tier zero, one, two and three work experience for the Canadian experience class. So thank you guys, as always, so much for tuning in. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with all the latest Canadian immigration news and updates.